Hello everyone, Max McAllister back. Another episode of Cycle with Max. Today I want to talk about one of the most wildly misunderstood and m most poorly explained features in Zwift and that is the trainer difficulty setting in the settings menu of your Zwift game. Now, at, at face glance, um, you would appear to believe, it would be easy to believe that moving the trainer difficulty towards uh, the max side or the min side would make the game harder to play or easier to play. And there, and this is where all the language gets extremely confusing. Uh, this, there is some truth depending on your bicycle. So by default, the game comes set in the middle and you can open your settings and you could slide this either way. So uh, my first impression, I said trainer difficulty. Oh, I can make the game harder? What, you know? <clears throat> well, so the way it exists is max is really not the right world word. This is actually reality. Okay, so anything you set the trainer to other than max is less is less than reality. Okay, now what do we mean by that? So angle of inclination, inclination when you're climbing the hill, uh, difficulty of the trainer applying resistance to the trainer over here at this setting is reality. And now the impression is if you do anything other than that, you've made the game easier and you're cheating. In fact, if you put it over here at a minimum, you're a super cheater, okay? This is where all the confusion comes in. And I want to assure you that that's all completely wrong. All right, now, <clears throat> what's that where this comes into play is ascending. It's not really detectable on flat ground, but on climbs is where this factor comes into play. Now, uh, when I say reality, that's going to put the actual grade and it's going to make your bike act exactly like it would if it was on real pavement, on real ground, climbing a real grade on a, any real day. So, I noticed, I said to myself when I started playing the game, I said, well, you know, if that's where they default it to, that means 99% of people in the world are just going to ride it there. I don't want to make it harder for me to compete against all the people I'm riding against. I'm just going to leave mine in the middle. Uh, a friend of mine shot me a link uh, that <clears throat> from Zwift Insider and Eric, and I can't figure out how to pronounce his last name, it's like Schlang, he's the guy who's the guru at Zwift Insider. He explained it, but poorly, and uh, he led me down a path of figuring it out in a way that's much easier to understand. So he explains that the wattage required to get you from point A to point B in Zwift is the same no matter where you set this setting. Now, in my mind, I, I say, well, if you make it harder, it has to take more wattage. If you make it easier, it has to take less wattage, plain and simple. But that's not how they said it. They stated point blank, it, you will have to do the same amount of work to get from point A to point B uh, in Zwift. It requires that you do the work to get there. Now, they described it as your perception of how hard it is. Now, <clears throat> that's totally wrong too. That's not actually how it works. Now, where I noticed something was wrong is with my bike set here, I was able to ride up 15% grades, 10 to 15% grades on the big ring of my bike, you know, with my chain halfway down the cassette. So my bike has uh, mountain gears, let's call effectively on it. So uh, I have a 5034, so compact chain rings and an 1132 cassette. <coughs> um, so for a road bike, that right now is they call subcompact gearing. 
that's good for climbing steep hills. But I know if I'm on a 10 to 15% grade, let's face it, I'm on the little ring and I'm on a big cog, right? I mean, we're 15%, you're, 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 you have to be, or otherwise you can't move your bike. So that confused me. <clears throat> so I just, I did some experiments. I went out on the Zwift, got on a hill and figured this out. And basically uh, what my tact was is I pedaled at 200 watts and at 200 watts, no matter where I moved this slider, I was on a, it was a 10 percentish grade at 200 by watts, my bike went seven miles per hour, no matter where I moved this. The difference was when I moved this, uh, my bike was in a different gear, okay? So <clears throat> when I moved it to here, it to reality, I had to ride on the little ring and the big cog or, or somewhere within a tooth or two of that and I was doing seven miles an hour. When I moved it here, in order to do 200 watts, uh, I had to shift onto the big ring and I was halfway down the cassette. When I moved it over here to easy, I actually would spin my cranks and I almost couldn't get my avatar to move. It wouldn't even move. So I had to put it in the big ring and all the way down to the little cog to get my guy to go, get my character to even move. So. But no matter what I did, 200 watts was seven miles an hour. So let me explain this to you in a way that you can understand it easier. What this really is, this is a gearing selector. All right, so you can effectively put bigger chain rings or smaller chain rings on your bike. You can put a smaller big cog on your cassette on your bike, or you can put a bigger cog on your cassette. So we're going to call this the gearing selector. All right. Now, <clears throat> what does this mean to me or why is this important to know? Okay. If you have the simplest way to figure this out is get on the well, steep climb on Zwift. If you can put your bike into the granny gear, put, put, your, put your setting to max, come over here and set it to this. If you can go up any hill on Zwift with your bike uh, in, in the granny gear and still get the bike up the hill, this is where you should be riding your bike because this will give you the most functional gear range in Zwift. You get the most possible gear range. Now, if you're climbing a hill, you're on your little ring, your biggest cog and you can't turn the cranks over, um, then move this selector towards the left. Now, does, does that mean you've made, you've cheated or you're, 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 you've got an advantage over your friends? Well, no, let's pretend my friend I'm riding with is in Florida. He's riding on a 5339 standard chain rings and he's got some crazy you know, 1125 cassette or an 1123 cassette because he rides on flat ground and never goes up a hill one time his whole life. When this guy comes into Zwift and tries to ride his bike up a mountain, he can't do it because this bike isn't equipped to do that. So instead of this guy having to go out and buy or switch chain rings or switch cassettes or change chains just to put his bike onto his trainer, he can load his bike up with standard gear, standard chain rings and move it here to the left and his bike will then behave more like my bike that has, you know, a 5034 and an 1132. All right. Now, that's not cheating. That just makes it so he doesn't have to go buy parts. This is a wonderful feature. Um, it's also a wonderful feature if um, you're just not strong enough to ride up mountains. I mean, you might consider it's fictitious gearing. It's not even road bike gearing. You know, if you slide this thing over to the left, you might be on an 1145, you know, like a mountain bike cassette. That's okay. If that's what it takes to get you up the hill, but as long as everybody gets it, you still have to do the same amount of power output and you still have to do the same effort 
that you that the all the people you're riding with do the same amount of wattage to get from over the hill you just have another way of doing it so you could say no 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 that's still cheating okay mr jerk who says you everybody's cheating are you riding on a single speed are you riding a fixie oh you do you have 22 gears you have a 2 by 11 well okay so this is the hardest why don't you ride a bike with one gear over a mountain well i don't do that because it's way too hard that's why i have gears well it's just a question of what gears is all so this setting for max and this is where we ride our bikes because this is real for me and when i go out onto the road and i get on a 10 percent grade um, that's real that's going to correlate when i put my bike back down onto real wheels and go out in the real world and go up a 10 percent grade so the only reason you should not use the game on the max setting is if you aren't able to put your bike in the granny gear and pedal up the mountains with your friends. And if you, if you can't, just move this. You're not cheating. Don't let anybody harass you. Uh, you still got to do the work and you still got to get up the mountain. All right. I hope this makes it easier to understand than any other way that you've had it presented before. Gearing range selector. All right. This is free cassettes free chain rings, no work, no labor, no tools, no mechanic, all right? Boom. All right, I'm Max. Hopefully this lesson has been useful. Please share this with your friends to help get rid of some of this wacky confusion in the Zwift world. And uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe and I'll keep this great content coming.